morning children. Welcome to your math class. Okay. So today we will solve exercise 1.1, question number 1.2, question number 4. Okay. This is exercise 1.2, question number 4. Okay. So what is the question saying? Write the following number. Okay. So what do we do? We will write the question write. Write the following numbers in expanded form and find the place value of the digit 9. Okay? And find the place value of digit 9. Question number 4 is asking you to do. You have to write the following numbers in expanded form. So whatever the numbers will be given, you have to write it in expanded form. And then you have to find the case value of digit 9 in each case. Okay. So what is the first question here? Question number 4a. Okay. So question number 4a, the number is 920569. Okay. Now you have to write this in expanded form. How will you do in expanded form? You will write the question. Then you will write expanded form. And then you will write the first digit. Then you see 5, 5 zeros. Then the number is 2. How many numbers are remaining there? The remaining numbers you will put. Four zero. Now here in zero, you can either write one zero or you can write as many zeros you want. See, for example, here I will write zero. Now, you can write one 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 zero. Now, you then the remaining digit 0, then you have 6, and then 1, the last digit has no 0. Okay? So this will be the expanded form. Understood? Now you have written the expanded form. Now you have to find the place value of digit 9. So again, you will write the place value of digit. Which digit? The place value of digit 9. Okay. So again, you will have expanded form thinking as it is you will write here. Okay. So of course, after word you will not write. You will not write. You will write in figures only. Okay. So the place value of digit 9, this much. Understood? This is how you will solve the question. So after you have write the following numbers in expanded form and place value of digit 9 in each case. So, what you are going to do when you write the expanded form and then you place value of digit 9 and then you will write the exact 9. Understood? Now, we will, I hope you have written this. Number B. What is the question number B? Nine five zero. Nine 
Understood? Write down this part. Then we will solve the next question. Okay? So I am going to erase this. Now, we will do the next. Now, okay. Now, what is the next number? Question number B. Question number B is 3, 0, 7, 0, then there is 5, 9. This is your number. Again, same expanded form. 3. Number of digits. 6. 6 zeros. Then 1, you can put 1 also. I told you as many zeros you can put. As many no, but only this much. You can put 5 also, you can put 1 zero. Then you have 7. Then count the digits 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then you have 5. Place value of 9. Here you got it. You will write. Okay. So write down this part. I hope you have written this. So What 
is question number 5 find the place value of digit given in the box okay so Have you written this? Now, see the first question. Question number five. A. The first question is: We have fifty-three. Then you have six in the box. Then you have nine five. So write down this part so that we can go further. given in the box now see your here six is given in the box right six first you will not write only six you will write the place value of six because the box number given in the box is six so you will write the place value of six okay write six and just look question see the b b is the first box is 9 then you will find the other numbers okay the numbers are 2 5 6 1 4 okay this is the number again the Number nine. Then what will you do? The remaining numbers you will just put zero. Six. You put six zero. Understood? Similarly to the question number C. What is the number? Seven zero zero four in the box. Okay. Then eight. Okay, you just have to write the place name. Which number? The number which is given in the box. What is that number? Two. Then is equal to how many remaining? Two. So this is how you will solve. Just write down first. So I hope this question has been understood to all of you. Yes. Very okay. Now I'm going to erase this so that we can read question number six. Okay, we can solve question number six. What is question number six? Find the digit. What does the question say? Find the digit. Wait. In the required place. Find the digit. 
suggest in the required place in each of the columns. Okay. In each of the columns. So you have to find the digits required in each of the places. Okay. Write down this one. Okay. So the first question is A. What is the question here? 10 lakhs place. Okay. 10 lakhs place. Where? 10 lakhs place in the number 5, 8, 0, 7, 0, 9, 3. Okay. So what you have to do? You have to find the 10 lakh place. Okay. So what will you do? You will put the place values 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, lakh and 10 lakh. Now you know the number the digit required in 10 lakh places 5 because 10 lakh to each 5 hai hum yehi karenge hum dekhenge 10 lakh ke niche kaun sa number hai jo number hame milega wahi hamara answer hoga understood so the the digit the required digit therefore the required digit Similarly, we will solve the next question. That is the B question. Question number 6B. What is the question asking you to do? Lack. Okay. Lack. Place. In which number? Let's see. Which number is this? This is 5. 2. 9, 8, 7, 6, 8. Okay. This is your number. Now you have to find the lakh place. What do you have to find? You have to find the lakh place. Now how will you find the lakh place? Again, you will put the case here. 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, lakh and 10 lakh. Now this is your number. Lakh up. Which is the lakh one? This one. Okay. So the corresponding number is 2. So what will you do? The, you will write the required digit is 2. Yes? Now write down everyone. I hope you have written this. What is the question number seven asking you to do? This is question number seven. Question number seven. Now, write the following numbers in short form. Okay, you have to write. to write the following numbers in short form. Now see. Question number 7A. Now what is 7A? Question number 
fraction is square root of five. How many zeros are there? Five zeros. Then the next has four zeros. Then you have three zeros. Then you have Short form. What will you do? You will first count the numbers in the first digit. Okay. So see the first number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So can you find seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is okay. So this is the number. There are six digits. And you have six numbers. Yes, see. Six digits you have to pass, and six numbers is how many digits? One, two, three, four, five, six. When you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you are taking the first number, which is the first digit. Which means in your standard form, the numbers will be added. So there are six digits here. You have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is correct form. So we will do what? Straight up short form में how many right five then the number seven then again the number three then you have two then you have four and this was seven okay this is how you will solve then you will solve the question number B now what is the B question again see how many zeros are there five so you have right one two three four five then the next number is your four zero then the next number four thousand then there is thirty then there is two okay now look here you will count the number of digits in the first So our house number one, two, three, four, five, six. There should be six numbers. One, two, three, four, five. There are only five numbers. That means one is missing. Look here. There is unit. There is ten. And there is missing hundred. Okay. So here we are missing hundred. Yes. So what will we do when we take our number? We write one. Then there is thousand. Ten thousand lakh. So one lakh. Number three. Look, you write one. Then you have three in the place of ten thousand. Then in place of one thousand you have four. In the place of hundred you have nothing. You will put zero. Then in ten and then now count the number of digits. One, two, three, four, five, six. Understood? Now. Write the question number C. Now again C. The next number is with three zeros. Then the next number is four hundred. Then the next number is two. Okay. So again, what will you do before writing in short form? You will count the digits in the small form. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number one, two, three, four, five. Here there are only five digits. Five. In first number there are how many digits? Seven. So two numbers are clearly missing here. So let's see which numbers are missing here. First we have missed our unit number. Yes. You see unit ten hundred thousand. Then we are missing our ten thousand. Yes. Then we have our last. See the last. Here in the number, you will find that we are.
Value chart. Then in the second topic, you have learned the expanded form. So we just recap this. And now, third, you will learn the order relation. What will you learn? The order relation. Okay. This will be your new topic. That is. Okay. So first, you have learned the place value chart where you have located the various place values. Yes, according to the numbers and according to the places. Then you have learned the expanded form. You have expanded the numbers. You have also learned the short forms also. Yes. Now today we learn a new topic that is the order relation. Okay. We will start question number 3, topic number 3 which is order relation, ok? So just write down order relation. What will you write? You will write that the number with more digits is greater than the number with less digits. And we will stop you for today and we will continue this in next lecture. Okay? Thank you children. Have a nice day.